Hi there. Over the last few days here at the BBC Weather Centre, we've been forecasting some very nasty weather to affect parts of the Caribbean. Now, it's not tropical storms, it's not hurricanes that we've been worried about, but some very nasty-looking thunderstorms. And you can see these thunderclouds on the satellite picture. See how they've just been lining up one after the next, tracking over the same kind of group of islands, Cuba, Jamaica, Haiti and the Dominican Republic. These areas have had lots and lots of heavy rain. Now, you remember Haiti last year suffered that devastating earthquake. People are still living in very poor housing conditions following that severe earthquake. And this extra rain has certainly not helped things. We've had an incredible amount of rainfall just over the space of 24 hours. It's led to some mudslides that have unfortunately claimed the lives of over 20 people living around the capital, Port-au-Prince. But why have the rains been so exceptionally heavy? Well, we have something called the intertropical convergence zone to blame. This is basically a line of storms that encircles the planet, and it's where the winds from the southern hemisphere meet those from the northern hemisphere. And where the two wind systems collide, the air's forced upwards through the atmosphere and we get some thunderstorms, some of the biggest thunderstorms on the planet. Now, the rains have been exceptionally heavy across this part of the world because, as well as the intertropical convergence zone, we've also had an area of low pressure that's made the rains extra intense and has also stopped them moving very far. So, more rain is forecast as well for the next few days. It's going to be particularly heavy across Jamaica and Cuba, so further flooding is quite likely across these countries before into the weekend that band of rain just edges northwards away from the islands giving the islands something of a respite but now we are just about entering the hurricane season it's going to be a bit of an uncomfortable time ahead for those in haiti they'll be wondering what's next to come